Wise really made a name for themselves with a $25 home security camera. Not only was it cheap, but it's also of decent quality. Then they did it again with the Wise bulb, the Wise sense, the Wise plugs. Well, today we're going to look at the next line of cheap home automation from Wise called the Wise Lock. Let's check it out. Welcome back, my name is Eric, you're watching Modern Day Tech, where I like to simplify tech for your life. If this is your first time here, I hope you will consider subscribing. So Wise recently released a small batch of the Wise Lock, which retails for only $90, which makes it one of the cheapest smart home locks on the market. It is a retrofit lock, which means that you're only replacing the backside of the deadbolt. So you're not actually changing the key or any of the inside guts, which makes the installation only about 15 minutes or so. I'll show you more about the installation in just a moment the actual physical device the outer case is some type of metal the backside is plastic and there's no way to look inside to see what the guts are don't know if they're metal or plastic but does feel very heavy and very secure in addition to the lock you do get four double a batteries which is really nice that they include the batteries in the kit there's three little adapters you'll only be using one of them depending on what type of lock that you have and a little piece of tape to help you with the install. There's also a mounting bracket which the instructions will show you how to use. In addition, you do have to have the gateway which they do include. This will actually gateway from I believe the actual lock is Zigbee and Bluetooth to your Wi-Fi so you're able to control the lock even when you're outside of the house. It is only 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi so if you do have a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi unfortunately this will not work for you. Using this lock is fairly simple. You can lock it and unlock it straight from the app. There's no pin number, there's no biometrics like a fingerprint reader. And because of that, you can easily set this up in no time. You can share it out with friends and family and they can have access to it. Now I wouldn't say this lock is jam packed with features. You really don't need a lot of features built into a smart lock even though there are some companies that do. Wise does it right and just makes it very basic. You can have the option of notifications we do get notified of it being locked and unlocked if you choose to in addition there are a couple of alarms for instance there is the door jam alarm so if you don't happen to shut the door all the way and the lock gets stuck it will actually notify you on the app and also ring a little buzzer on the lock itself so if you're standing there you can get it right away there's also the left open alarm so that's great for me because I like to leave the door open sometimes because I have a dog I put her out but I want her to be able to come back in but some Sometimes I forget. Um, so this will actually let me know that the door has been open for a set number of minutes. And then you have the awesome features of it locking and unlocking automatically. Now you want to set this up towards your personal preferences. For instance, the auto lock can lock automatically as soon as you shut the door or after a certain number of minutes. Now if you go outside and you forget about it, unfortunately you're going to be locked out. So do be aware that that auto lock feature is on. And then when it comes to this unlock feature, this is even cooler. So you do have to set up a geofence around your house. That way it doesn't automatically unlock and lock every time you get within Bluetooth range. You actually have to go outside of this geofence and then come back in and then reconnect with Bluetooth. Now in my testing, unfortunately it did not work. I'm not quite sure why the auto unlock is not working for me. I did contact support, send them my log files and they're gonna be looking into it. So if you wanna see an update on that issue, I'll be updating my full pros and cons list on my website. So check that out right there or down in the description below. Now setting this up is super Super, super easy. Just go into the app, hit the three little dots to the right, and you want to set up the gateway first. It will walk you through every single step. You plug it in, allow Bluetooth connection, pick which Wi-Fi network is yours, and then you're all set up and ready to go. Once the gateway is set up, it should allow you to automatically begin the lock setup. You just hit begin, and it's going to walk you through every single step and there's videos on every single step if you need help first thing you want to do is secure the outside lock by putting the orange tape on the outside lock that will just secure the outside 
go ahead and shut the door and undo the two screws on the back of the door lock. Then you'll be able to remove the back plate and it should look something like this. Go ahead and take the plate that they included with the kit and put the bolt through that plate and go ahead and just loosely tighten them down. You want to make sure that center post is through the very middle section. Also, as you tighten it down, you do want to make sure the actual plate is kind of level and that middle pin is exactly right in the middle. The app will then ask you to identify that middle pin. I personally had a flat pin at an angle, so this will tell you which adapter to use. In my lock, I use the blue adapter. You do want to follow the instructions exactly how it says. If it says put the flat side in, you definitely want to follow it to a T. After that, you can install the actual lock. You want to make sure that it sits flush with the door. If not, jiggle things around a little bit and push it on. Once it's on there, you can make sure that the lock actually works manually. Once you're okay with that, go ahead and tighten those two little screws on the inside and place in the batteries. Do be aware of the little holders that hold in the batteries and the direction that the battery should go. Go ahead and put the cover back on and go ahead and continue following the instructions. It's going to have you manually lock it, unlock it, open the door, close the door, partially close the door just so we can get a good reading of when it's actually open and closed or even partially closed. Once that's all done, you just want to name it whatever it is, front door, back door, side door, garage door, whatever it is, just name it so you can identify it, and then you're good to go. Go ahead, hit the unlock button, hit the lock button, and make sure the lock is working. Now, if it keeps getting jammed, you might need to adjust the door a little bit just to make sure that the deadbolt is working properly. As far as working with other products and companies, currently the Wise Lock only works in the Wise app. They have announced that we'll work with Lady A, AKA, and Google Home sometime in 2020. But at the time of this recording, there's still no official date. Now, if you're a HomeKit user, unfortunately, none of the Wise products will work with HomeKit. It has been requested in their forum, but it's definitely not near the top of the list of features to integrate in the near future. So I do not see this coming anytime soon. But if you do happen to have some other Wise products, you can definitely trigger some automations within the Wise app itself. For instance, if the Wise lock senses that the door is open, you can actually trigger a light either through a Wise bulb or a Wise plug. If you want to see a full review of the Wise bulb, definitely check out this video right there. And if you want to see a full review of the Wise plug, check out that video right there. Thanks for watching.